A 155-year-old mousetrap has claimed its latest victim at a museum in Reading. Yeah, the unfortunate rodent was found in a wooden Victorian trap that dates back from the 1860s in a storeroom at the Museum of Rural Life in Reading. Staff say it is a mystery how the mouse got into a brand new secure wing of the museum. Perhaps not so secure. <laughs> ben Moore reports. It was certainly not a narrow squeak for one unfortunate museum visitor who underestimated Victorian engineering. I was here in the stores and I was getting out some objects for an event uh, called Animals at Reading um, and I wasn't expecting to get out any animals um, and when I opened the cabinet in the stores I noticed that there was a mouse in one of them. It's a mystery why or even how the mouse conquered stairs and penetrated secure cabinets just to select from amongst thousands of exhibits the very thing designed to capture it. The mouse would come in through the top here, it would drop onto this seesaw device in the centre and the mouse would go one way, end up in this small cage at the end where the user would then be able to retrieve it and release it into the field. The trap was patented in 1861 with the bold claim guaranteed for life, quite. The museum's collection of traps is monitored fairly regularly, but staff here have one big question to answer. Was their unfortunate guest a scout or part of a larger family? The trappings of fame mean this tiny museum is now getting inquiries from as far away as Australia and Canada though it's yet unclear whether the roving rodent will be buried or granted a posthume mouse honour and be preserved as part of the exhibit. Ben Moore, BBC News. Poor little thing. It doesn't make sense, though, does it? No, I smell a rat, not just a mouse. <laughs>